everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my updated everyday makeup routine while answering your assumptions. It has been a while since I answered assumptions and it has also been a while since I did an everyday makeup routine and I feel like just sitting here today, putting makeup on my face and talking to you guys. These are some of my favorite videos ever to film and I feel like you guys really enjoy watching them as well. So that is what I'm gonna do. Over on my Instagram, all of you are so, so lovely and I always get so many questions about my makeup, like what foundation am I using? What mascara am I loving? what is my lip colour. So I thought it would be so much easier just to do it all in a video. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, let's get started. Okay, so skin. My skin at the moment is actually really good and I'm really, really pleased with how it looks. I do have a little bit of fake tan on my face, which might be making it look a little bit more smooth. But then compared to my hand, I feel like I've got nothing left. A while ago I had a breakout on both of my cheeks and I've still got a couple of like little scars and stuff left from it. Other than that, my skin has been pretty good. My chin doesn't really get spots anymore. My nose is quite oily and my forehead is kind of textured. But again, it has got so much better compared to what it used to be. I am going to use some of my Clean and Clear Jewel Action Moisturiser. This stuff is about £3 and I really like it. I used to use it back in the day, maybe three or four years ago, and then I stopped using it and I don't know why. I feel like now I'm using it again, my skin looks a lot better. It's just a nice little little base for under makeup as well but I do put it on my face before I go to bed at night. For primer I'm going to use the Porefessional Hydrate Primer which is the new primer from Benefit and I'm really liking this. I got sent it in a PR package maybe two weeks ago and I've been using it every day since and my makeup has been glowing. Like my skin feels great, really hydrated and it just feels like I can put makeup on top of it without it like sticking or going dry. The first assumption we're just going to jump straight into the deep end which is basically what everyone was asking and it is are you and Jed dating? Now, if you've seen Saf's one word interview with her family, then you would know that she basically asked her family a question, what would they do if they saw me and Jed naked in a room together? Before I get into that, I'm gonna start putting my foundation on. I'm gonna be using a mixture of two. I'm gonna use the NYX Born to Glow foundation, which is amazing. It's a naturally radiant foundation and I completely agree. It makes my skin look so glowy. And then for coverage, because I feel like I need a little bit more, I'm gonna use the Revlon Color Stay 24 hours for combination to oily skin. This is a little bit more thick and this is a lot more thin so I mix them together and then it just creates the perfect foundation for me and they're both drugstore as well so big up the drugstore foundations. I can't remember, I think Darren said grandchildren, Wendy said finally, Katie said surprise and then Jeff was like woo! So now everybody thinks that me and Jed are dating or have dated and I can't even tell you how many questions I got about that. But I can confirm, no, me and Jed are not dating. We haven't dated in the past. Uh, we're going on a ski holiday. Actually, I'm going with Saf and her family to France, I think we're going. Uh, skiing in a couple of weeks, which is going to be really exciting, so... Just wait until then, Jed. And then I'm just gonna blend this all on my face and I think you'll be able to see more or less straight away how amazing the coverage is. You know when you just find that perfect foundation blend and you don't wanna change it because that is literally what this is. But I can only use it when I'm fake tanned because I don't have the light enough shades. I feel like it matches quite nicely. Also, I did get eyelash extensions yesterday so I've gotta be really, really careful around them. So instead of showing my eye products, I'm more just gonna talk you through them. The next assumption is that you can eat what you want and you don't don't put on weight. So I've kind of covered this in a video before and I feel like it's the case to a point but it's also not. A lot of people assume that I have a horrific diet because I eat quite a lot of fast food and like I do a lot of food themed videos when in reality I do two videos a week. Sometimes they're not even food related like this one isn't food related at all but other than that like the other five days out of the week I actually eat really healthy. So when I post bikini pictures online or like boomerangs when I'm on holiday and stuff people just don't understand which I do completely understand because what I give off is that I eat junk food 24 7 but no the truth is I just have a super fast metabolism which I'm really really lucky for so I can kind of eat what I want to a point and then it will you know fast metabolism you know what it does I know I'm super blessed to have that and it probably will catch up to me one day but no my diet isn't actually as bad as you will think I think everybody thinks I have McDonald's for breakfast lunch and dinner and I go and get KFC in between when no in reality I actually have a really balanced diet I just eat fast food when I'm filming videos which I don't think is a bad thing like a lot of people do it for concealer I've got a couple that I really like at the moment so this is the Rimmel lasting matte concealer and I love it just because it's a little bit of a thicker consistency and I feel like that gives me better coverage but then I've also got for highlighting the iconic London concealer and I pop this under my eyes just to make them look a little bit more bright so I just assumed that this year is going to be owned by me and honestly I thought that was just so lovely I've got such a good feeling about 2020 like 2019 
2019 was really good but you know when you just have feelings about certain years well 2020 is definitely that year and i'm so excited to see what it brings the next assumption is you get more money than most of your youtube friends with youtube and earning money it is completely different for everyone and i'm just going to plug my podcast entirely accurate i have byron and i did a whole episode on people earning money on youtube and like how we kind of explained how it all works and we did a whole episode on a tiktok that will only uploaded about i'm alex because it showed that his monthly earnings for december was two hundred thousand pounds if you do want to go listen to the in-depth conversation what we had about it and comparing it to other cpms that we know and stuff you can go listen to the podcast it's available on entail spotify and apple it is very different for everyone so if you have a super pg channel you tend to earn more because your videos are more child friendly whereas if you swear a lot and you don't make child friendly videos your cpm tends to go down that's just kind of how i've figured out that it works me and my friends don't really compare our earnings you know we don't really get our pay slip and like okay how much did you get because i got this much like we don't really do that we talk about it obviously and we talk about like fees and stuff like that's just a natural part of youtube but no i don't really know if i earn more or less like i'm not I don't really care to be honest. For contour, I'm gonna use my favorite one which is from Kiko and it is, I don't even know what it's called because it's all scratched off. I think it's from the Ocean Collection. I've used it for about a year now and it was literally my all time favorite. I don't know what I'd do without it. And then I used this Tarte glittery contour brush and I just contour with that. The next assumption is no boys like you and they put LOL to uh, soften the blow. I don't think it's that no boys like me. I've always just said that like, I am way too picky and I don't have a right to be. I know I don't have a right to be but I just in my head have this like very particular type of person that I want and I'm also quite particular with looks which again I have no right to be I can't help the way that I am I've been on a couple of dates and I've spoken to different boys but in all honesty like I feel like there's just always like something missing or something just isn't how I want it to be and I'll be completely honest with me and with dating boys in the past I've had really 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 bad luck and everyone that I've kind of been with has either really quickly found someone who they prefer or cheated on me. When I say cheated on me, it's really hard to explain because I've never had a boyfriend, but like we were exclusive. Like I can't, I really can't explain it. One day I will go into like full on detail about it. So I feel like I also have major trust issues. So I don't think it's that no boys like me because people have told me they like me kind of maybe it is that i don't know maybe i just don't want to admit it i don't know like i'm only 19 years old like i've got my whole life ahead of me i don't think it really matters that i haven't had a boyfriend and if the boys that i've spoken to don't like me then i just think of it as their loss to be honest the next assumption is you and byron are secretly together now again along with the jed one everybody thinks that me and byron are together or we're dating or we have dated or we've slept together again if you listen to the podcast you would know because we do reveal quite a lot of what we don't talk about on youtube yes me and Byron have kissed before and it wasn't like a jokingly kiss we actually genuinely did I hate saying this but get with each other it was at Kira's birthday and I think it just been brewing for a while that we both just kind of knew it was gonna happen I can't explain it and that was literally it like that is all there is to it nothing else is gonna come from it we literally just got with each other for about 10 seconds and that is as far as it has ever gone so no me and Byron are not secretly dating I will completely admit that we have kissed and it wasn't really in a jokey situation but other than that no I'm sorry there's no more tea to spill on that situation i get a lot of questions on my eyebrows because i used to fill them in and they used to be super blocky and i hated it like i'm just not a massive fan of the blocky eyebrow look i much prefer the feathered like natural fun type of look so i get some concealer it doesn't matter what one it is but i just needed a light one so i'm using my tart shape tape and first of all just underneath my natural brow i just carve it out to make it look a little bit more shaped with the natural hairs that i've got i don't really know where i started getting this tip from or where i started doing it but it just really really helped me and i just loved it doing it now like unless I do this I feel like my makeup doesn't look the same it just makes my eyebrows look a little bit more tidy and then I literally just get some clear brow gel so if I want it to be tinted I will use the Benefit brow range the 24 hour brow setter is amazing but mine has just run out and the Benefit gimme brow which I've got here but because it had run out and I don't have a Benefit near me I've just got this collection color lash all day wear color mascara but it's a clear mascara so I just put it in my brows I just brush my brows up like this I have to do it a couple of times for it to set in place but I've actually ordered the soap brow tin from Beauty Bay because it looks really cool and everyone's talking about it So I'll definitely pop that on my Instagram story once I've got it But for now, this is how I do my brows The next assumption is that your mental health is the best it has been right now I would definitely say it's at a good 
point i am not really one to necessarily talk about my feelings i find that quite hard to talk about it online there's certain things that i can talk about really easily and then certain things that i just can't but it's fine like my mental health is actually really good at the moment and i just think you know what whatever life throws at you you just have to deal with and everything happens for a reason so one day i probably will explain like everything that has happened behind the scenes and that i haven't really showed i love the fact that i'm just so open and honest and real with everyone like that is all i've ever wanted to be but there are some things that i feel like should just be kept private until they're ready to be spoken about now for eyes i'm gonna have to be so careful because of these eyelash extensions so i'm gonna use this tart in the bloom palette and i use the shade sweetheart at the bottom and it's like a pastely pinky color and i'm just gonna pop this really lightly on my eyelid it's really annoying actually i wish for the purpose of this video i didn't have the eyelash extension so i could show you what i normally do with my eyes the next assumption is you are working on a secret project and i can confirm that i am working on a super exciting secret project project i actually had a meeting about it the other day it was like a first initial introduction meeting and oh my god guys let me tell you everyone's gonna be so excited like I, I can't even tell you i walked out of that room and i was like this doesn't feel real like this is one of my dreams so i cannot wait for you guys to see you know it's gonna be a while like i want to get it right but yeah so secret project is happening your bank account is over six digits otherwise you would have answered that question if you haven't seen my mum and i did a say it or shot it video and my mum asked me a question is my bank account over six digits and I drank to it because I felt like I didn't need to answer the question but then by drinking everybody assumed that it was in all honesty I don't want to talk about how much money is in my bank account and I'm sorry if that annoys you or if that just yeah annoys you I don't want to talk about how much money I have I just don't think it is appropriate necessarily when I start investing properly and I start doing all the stuff that I want to do I'm definitely going to talk about it because I feel like it's something they never taught us in school in the past couple of years i have been really blessed i've managed to earn a bit of money in school i never got taught how to invest how to spend your money wisely what to do with spare cash what you know all these different things like i just never got taught that so i never knew what to do i was really lucky because this is a whole new situation for me and it's what i've always wanted to do but i've had to get a lot of guidance just because i'm clueless with what i was doing or i was clueless with what i was doing i feel like in school they need to teach you about these things like mortgages and bills and just everything and how to budget and it's so important and they don't do that so I definitely feel like I want to do some sort of series on my channel where I talk about that and talk about how I've done it and everything like that so if that is something you do want to see let me know down below I'm now just going to brush the powder off I don't even know if I said what powder that was it was the Rimmel Match Perfection powder it's literally four or five pounds from Boots and it is great I love it so much the next assumption is you have more guy friends than girls in some ways this actually does ring true because home friend wise so like people who I went to school with a lot of the girls that I went to school with I feel like we all just kind of drifted and a lot of them didn't really support the whole YouTube thing I had quite a hard time in school with the sense of the girls never really supported what I did to a point I don't really talk about it anymore but I definitely have a stronger bond with the boys like at the end of year 11 as GCSEs were coming to an end me Doyle Joel Dev Tanisha spent literally all of our time together we'd always be on the field that whole summer we literally spent together and now the only friends that I see from home are Tanisha and then Doyle Dev and Joel so yeah I do have more guy friends than girls I feel like with me I find it easier to click better with guys sometimes I don't really know why but we're actually all going up to Manchester like next week I think because we're all going out for Dev's birthday so that's exciting but yeah I, d I think I do in a way have more guy friends than girls but I don't see that as a bad thing because I feel like I can open up to my guy friends next I'm going to go in with some blush and I've got my Benefit Rocketeur blush love this I've been using it every day recently it just gives me a nice little glow the next one is you do a podcast with your friends because you're not interesting enough on your own that is definitely not the case me Byron and Haz have always wanted to do something together and it had been spoken about before that we all wanted to do a podcast and then it got obviously brought up and we were like great this is what we want to do i definitely don't do it with them because i'm not interesting enough on my own i do it with them because i love doing it with them i mean i like to think i'm interesting like if you've got this far in the video hi thanks i mean maybe you find me interesting for eyes i normally apply some lash sensational boosting serum from maybelline i put this on in the morning before i do my mascara and i put this on in the evening so i sleep in it and then i will actually use the maybelline lash sensational normal mascara this 
is one of my favourites. I have quite a few high-end favourites, but drugstore, honestly, this is one of my only favourites. I've gone through so many of these. The amount of empty bottles of this I've got because I love it so much. I'm going to put some on my bottom eyelashes today. I actually got these extensions for the National Television Awards on Tuesday, which I'm so excited that I've been invited to. It actually doesn't feel real that I'm going to be going to the awards. That is why I have eyelash extensions, so I don't want to touch them or mess them up ahead of Tuesday. The next assumption is I always thought Atticus was actually your kid. The amount of times I get this is low-key worrying because he's definitely not my kid. That would mean I would have had him when I was 13 or 12. I would have been pregnant at 12 and had him at 13. No, he is definitely my mum's kid and he is my brother. I'm now going to highlight and this is the Kiko. Again, it's all scratched off but it's the Kiko highlight and I think it's from the Ocean Collection. The next one is you're sick of people asking about you getting a boyfriend. I'm not sick of it. I mean, it just reminds me how single I am every time someone asks me but I'm definitely not sick of it. Like, I get that people are curious because people who I watch on YouTube, I'm genuinely really curious and I want to know if they have a boyfriend or a girlfriend too. So, the last assumption is you often have one night stands. I wouldn't say, you know, that's an often occurrence. I wouldn't say go out every weekend and have a one night stand. If you do, no judging, like you do you girl, you do you, whatever you wanna do, I do not judge. I personally don't go and have one night stands every weekend. Who knows, I could have had a one night stand. Like it's our lives, we can do what the hell we want if we're feeling it on a night out, like go and do it. Lips, oh my God guys, this is my favorite lipstick in the world. I've gone through so many of these. It is the Too Faced Melted Matte in Child Star. If you are ever seeing me in a lipstick, unless it's a gloss, promise you it is this because I wear it all the time. Oh my God, as soon as I put it on, I'm like, wow, it glides on so smoothly and it's just the perfect perfect nude i just realized i was actually going to line my lips but i completely forgot but if i do i always use this morphe liner in a sweet tea these liners are literally four pounds to four pounds fifty and they're unreal i feel like they're actual dupe of mac liners another lipstick that i love as well is this one from nyx and it's the soft matte lip cream in cairo or cairo it doesn't do a lot but I just like it. And that is pretty much my everyday makeup routine. I don't know if anybody noticed, but I did dye my hair fully blonde again, which I much prefer. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. I'm always stalking the comments and replying to all of you guys. So go down below, leave some questions for me to answer. Make sure you also go and listen to the podcast, Entirely Accurate. Follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, follow me on whatever you want to do. And other than that, I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Bye.